Hello, family, and welcome to my channel, The New Wife. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know y'all are like, where are you at? I am actually outside with my hoodie up because it's a little, it's a little what you call Georgia chili, not Philadelphia chili. So I'm not going to be disrespectful and say it's cold because it's not. Um, but if you have not, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of these moments. So honestly, I I don't typically, I don't really have like a subject today. It's more of just like a check-in, just a reminder um, to you of how amazing you are. Now, you may not be where you want to be in life. You may feel that there's so much more you need to get done, so much more you can do, all of those things. And that I'm sure is accurate because we always have we have these amazing gifts in us and a lot of times we don't see them only other people can see them or they have to point us point them out to us so i'm just saying to you let me just remind you at the base of how amazing you are you were not created by anything man made you were literally breathed into by God himself. He chose to place you here and to, to uniquely mold you into his image. That's just at your core. And then he began to make you and mold you and to give you these gifts of, um, I'm just throwing different gifts out there, gifts of um, arts and gifts of being able to cook, gifts of um, being able to pray for others, intercede for other people, gifts of administration, um, gifts of finance. Those are gifts like anything, to be quite honest, that you like people pay people to cook. People pay people to help them with their taxes. People pay people to get their hair done. All of these things are gifts. Some people look at them as, you know, talents and stuff like that. They're all gifts. The Bible speaks of specific specific gifts um however we all have gifts and the thing is we're not just great because of our gifts we're simply great because god chose to create us now i do suggest that you do some not just soul searching i don't really it's not the word that i'm looking for but some time sitting with god because a lot of us don't know who we are we don't know what we should be doing. Some of us are miserable with our lives because we are not doing what we're called to do or what's in us. There's a, you'll hear people say sometimes, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And most of us are not doing what we love. I mean, I love cooking, so thankfully I, I am doing that. However, I was not always doing that. Let's be very, very clear. So what I'm saying to you is don't allow the fear of the unknown, how things are going to work out to keep from living this life that God literally has laid before you. But because you don't know what's down that road, you don't know if you, you should take it. So the word says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. A sound mind, love, power, and a sound mind. All of these things God has already given us, which means they're in us. But you have to know that just because something is there or in you doesn't mean that you've discovered it, doesn't mean that you have tapped into it. So you have to be willing to do that work into those things to get to what that love is, to get to that sound mind, to get to peace, because it's all there. So I just want to remind you that you really are fearfully and wonderfully made and uniquely made. And there is nobody literally on this earth like you. Twins don't even, identical twins don't even have the same fingerprint. To me, that's the kind of stuff science can't explain. I'm sorry. You just, you just can't. So please understand that when you understand who created you and when you understand the intricacy of who you are and how intricate, how he molded you and just how dope he is and then he chose to make us you will not accept everything you won't do everything and it'll even help you how to treat other people because you have a certain level of respect for yourself 
So that's my check-in, I guess I'm gonna call it today. Can't really call it like a specific subject. It's just a check-in. Like I know things are opening back up and stuff like that. So some of us are getting back to that same hustle and bustle. But what like don't let all of this time be a waste. Like God pushed pause for a reason. So don't go back. It's very easy to, but don't just go right back into exactly what you were doing before all of this, before God pushed pause on everything. Don't just exist and don't just settle for what people, people and even what you choose to give yourself. You deserve more. You can be more. That means you can be a better. I'm talking you and me. I can be a better wife. I can be a better bonus mom. I can be a better daughter. I can be a better friend. I can be a better. Um, I can be better over my finances. I can be better with my time. I can be better with my gifting. This is not beating myself up, but this is saying this is like, girl, you can do more with what you with what you've been given. There's so many people that would love to trade places with you and with me. They probably they probably would be lined up and we just think that because our life is not perfect or together or where we want it, that it's not a life worth living and that is totally not true. So I'm just reminding you that you're dope, that you're amazing, that you were made by the most high and that he has a plan for your life. His plan is always the best plan. Does it come with hills and valleys? Absolutely. Does it come with hurts? Hurts and pains, yes it does. But the good still outweighs the bad. And I would rather be walking with God and walking with Jesus than to be walking this life by myself. Because I would have absolutely checked out. So I'm going to leave you with this prayer. I hope that just helped you to remind you of, don't look for other people to validate you. Look to God. Look to God and understand that. You are this amazing person because he's in you, because he created you. We're not perfect and we never will be. But the power that is in us through God is what is perfect. And that's why we have to follow him. Father, we thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for taking the time out to meet us in this space today. Thank you for your covering and your protection. Please guide us and strengthen us and show us what our next steps need to be. Cause us to get out of our own way, um, to remove fear, to remove doubt, to remove unbelief, because none of these things are of you. So cause us to truly tap into who you created us to be without fear, but fully keeping you at the head of our lives. Seeking, as your word says, to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, to sing the kingdom of God, and all of these things will be added unto you. So cause us to seek you first. Always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, y'all. Much love.